and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time welcome my name is Trina Louise and over here on my channel we look at all things around plus size fashion and also delve into beauty and lifestyle first of all um my makeup is a little bit crazy today <laughs> um I have just filmed a insta um like tutorial type thing um that'll be coming up on my instagram later this week so if you do like this craziness um then yeah check out my instagram i'll leave a little um this is my instagram name <laughs> up here it's just trina louise higgins um and yeah if you want to check it out it'll probably be um out by the middle of the week so here today with another plus size try and try on haul um this time it's a little bit different I was contacted by a company called New Chick, New Cheek, I th New Chic, something like that. I'll leave their um, name up here. And they said um, really kindly, um, would I like to pick some things from their website to try out um, for you guys to see at home? And so I said yes, um, picked out some things and they arrived and now I'm going to try them on for you. Um, New Cheek, from what I can tell, seem to be a website that's quite similar to the format of Wish or, um, the, or, or those kind of websites um, where you order from abroad and it can take a little while to come. Um, so I was a little bit dubious because I've never really ordered clothes from that kind of website before because um, one, I, you don't know what the quality is going to be like, two, um, I don't know what the sizing is going to be like and three, you don't know when or if they're going to arrive. Um, so I've always been a bit dubious to try, but I thought since they'd reached out, I'll give it a go um, and then I can let you guys know what I think. I obviously can't really comment on like the shipping and ordering process because I didn't go through the normal process. I sent an email across to the person um, who was in touch with me to get them to order and send it to me. Shipping took about two weeks um which is what i was expecting but again i wouldn't want to guarantee that that's the experience that you would have because i didn't order as a normal customer so that's just something to bear in mind um but everything did arrive um it came really well packaged like i was impressed um and yeah everything i ordered arrived and it all came it did come in three separate packages um i don't know if that's to do with where, where they came from or um to do with the size of the parcel um, and they did arrive sort of one day after the other. Um, so that makes me think maybe they come from different um, places. Uh, but I that's just speculation. So I wouldn't want to um, say that for sure. I did order a couple of dresses to try. Um, I had planned to only buy clothes because I try on clothes over here. <laughs> so I planned to only um, try on clothes. But the issue was um, that when I looked at the size chart, I'm a size 28 in the UK, um, the closest size to me was a 5XL. And even looking at that um, size chart, I wasn't completely sure that even a 5XL would fit me. Um, and in that size, there weren't, um, the, the, the full range of clothing didn't go to that size. So I was a little bit restricted on what I could choose. Um, so I've chosen five dresses I think I've got to try um, but I thought I'd also um, pick up a couple of bags and some jewellery to try so I can show you the full range of um, products available on the website. Um, so I'll try on the dresses first because I know that most of you are here for fashion um, so I'll show you the dresses that I picked first and then if you're interested stick around and I'll show you the bags and the jewellery that I picked up and let you know what I think of the quality and so on. So yeah we'll just get on with it. <laughs> So this is the first dress and it's this gorgeous um, midi length green polka drop dress. I've said it a million times but if you are new to my channel I am obsessed with anything polka dot so when I saw this I thought I absolutely had to pick it up. So I'll show you around. I am quite obsessed with midi length dresses at the moment which has been a theme throughout this try on haul. Um, there wasn't the most amount of choice in my size, so I was a bit um, selected in what I could pick. Um, so quite a lot of it was midi length, but that's fine um, because that's what I'm into at the moment. So size wise, it's actually really generous. Like for me not thinking that these like that this was going to fit, it's quite a generous fit. So I could probably wear a belt with it, um, but I think it's also kind of fine without. I like the sleeve length that's really cute um oh, it has pockets <laughs> what it has pockets that is amazing okay yeah i really <laughs> i really 
like this. Like I don't really have, I've only got one other thing um, in this kind of colour. But yeah, I I really like it. Um, it is a bit, it, it's, it's kind of clinging here a bit, but I'm wondering if that's because it's a bit staticky at the moment. So I wonder if once it's been washed, um, it'll be less staticky, but it could be the material. I don't know. So I'll have to see how that goes because yeah, it is kind of clinging a little bit here at the moment. Um, I think it looks nice at the back. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. It is just a bit big, to be honest. I could have maybe gone down a size, um, but I didn't know that because it's really, really hard to know that when you're ordering from these kind of sites, unfortunately. But quality wise, like, yeah, it's not the softest material, It's but it's not awful. Like it's a shirt kind of material, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I definitely like that. The neckline is fine. Um, I think with a, like a nice longer necklace, this would be like the kind of counter like here. That'd be really, really cute. But yeah, overall, um, I'm quite impressed with this one actually. Um, this is a great start, like better than I was expecting. So um, let me know below, what do you think? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed so far. So this is the second dress and I thought I would do this um, after the first one because it is quite similar. It is another polka dot dress. It's just that this one has got longer sleeves. Um, the sleeves are probably a tiny bit too long, but I can cope. Um, and again, it is a bit bigger and it does have pockets, which is amazing. Um, same kind of length, same kind of material. The only thing I'd say is probably because of the um, longer sleeves covering up more skin, I feel a bit more frumpy in this one. Um, and I think it could definitely do with the belt. It feels a bit more like a tent on me. Um, but I think that's because there's no skin here to break it up. Um, so I do prefer the green one, um, but there's not too much more to say because they are kind of the same dress, just with different length sleeves. So I think since I've got a belt with this one, I'd be much happier. But again, I could have got this one in a size smaller, I think. But yeah, not much more to say, um, but again, quite impressed. So this is the next dress. Um, it's this like checkered, is it gingham? Is that what it's called? Um, patterned dress, again, midi length with the full sleeve. The sleeve is again probably a tiny bit too long but nothing major, has pockets which seems to be a theme which is great, I really appreciate that. But this one is doing nothing for me, I'll come closer so you can see. But the way that they have like stitched up the waistline is so bizarre, like one it's got like, you can see it's like that but then it's just really random the way they've like gathered the material in like really, really strange places. I don't know, oh, that's not flattering either. Like it's it's quite a heavy, stiff material. Um, so it's sticking to my butt. <laughs> and it's actually a bit itchy, to be honest. Um, it's probably a tiny bit tight on the chest here, but there's a bit of room in the waist. Um, the waist would be fine. Um, but yeah, it's just like, this is really weird. Like, I don't like this at all um and i wouldn't be wearing this like it's just i've never seen anything like it like the way it's just like so randomly like folded and sewn in like yeah and and it just feels a bit itchy and it's stiff and yeah Ugh, i don't like this one unfortunately so yeah i would not recommend this one it is not it's not doing anything for me and I don't like the way it's been made. So this one is unfortunately a no. So this is the second to last dress and it's this like baby blue striped midi dress. Again, I said there was a theme. This one doesn't have pockets, which is really sad. And um, the material is a bit thicker and fit wise, it just fits on the waist, but it's tight on the chest. Like I feel like I'm getting squished up here. Um, so unfortunately it's not the best fit, but it does just show the difference in um, sizing. They're all the same size yet fit quite differently. So it's just something to bear in mind. Um, I feel like because it's quite tight here, it's just accentuating this and giving me a bit of a like baby bump looking situation. <laughs> um, so that's not the most flattering. Um, yeah, I think it's just not working for me. Um, it looks like, I don't know, I'm off to primary school or I'm a nurse, I'm not sure. 
um, this is just really like really highlighted I could probably use some like um, suck me in pants as someone suggested very kindly um, which I will be looking to try at some point soon to deal with that but I just I'm not sure it's doing anything for me and it's really a thick material um, so it just kind of hits everything and actually I think it's a little bit see-through I don't know if you can see but I can kind of see my darker underwear coming through which again you could combat with a lighter underwear but it's just something to take into consideration um, I like the length of the sleeves um, and it does feel well put together like there's no strange issues here like with the last dress um, the neck probably comes a bit too high for me, but that's my preference. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. Like you can see it's quite tight here. Um, I just think it's probably just not for me. Um, it just doesn't fit right on me, unfortunately. Um, but it's okay. Like the dress is okay. It's just the fit is a bit of a problem. Um, when you compare how big some are and how small this is. So this is the last dress and it's something quite different actually. It feels kind of fuzzy, like is it, it's not corduroy but it, the material feels kind of soft and fuzzy um, and it's this beautiful dark blue with these like muted kind of flowers, can you see? Um, and it's got these really cute wooden buttons on it. It is quite thick, it's definitely a more winter autumn kind of dress but it's quite cute like I've got a bit of gape in here but I think once I'd ironed it that would be okay and um, the sleeves are a tiny bit too long but I can handle it and I imagine you could fold it up and actually um, it might be quite cute could obviously do it more neatly um, the only thing I'd say is the collar is a bit weird so it isn't like a collar that is designed to, designed to be folded yet it comes right up to the neck so I would want to um, try and fold it over. Now it's not staying, but I think once you ironed it in place, I think that looks more cute. But yeah, that's much better, I think. That's more flattering. But yeah, it's probably a little bit big, but nothing too major. Let me show you from the back. I think it's quite flattering. It does do a strange thing where the um, waistline like comes up and then down. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure if I like it or I don't like it. I've just never seen it before. Um, it's a really cute length. Um, I think I really like this actually. There's no pockets, so the trend doesn't continue. But yeah, it is quite thick, so it isn't gonna be a summer dress, um, but it doesn't look like a summer dress either. It's, Probably gonna be quite nice for spring actually I think um because if you're not from the UK spring isn't very warm here <laughs> um but yeah I think I really like this one I think either this or the green one is my favorite and um, they're very very different and I definitely don't have anything like this in my wardrobe at all um so yeah let me know what you think of this one but yeah I think I think I like it so that was the dresses. Um, I, as I said, I think overall the quality was quite good. There was just that one dress where the stitching really didn't make any sense, the checkered kind of dress. Um, so that one is probably going to be a no-go for me. Um, the fit of the dresses, yeah, like I, I mentioned it all, so I won't go over it again, but they were all a lot pretty much all a lot bigger than I was expecting so it's just something to bear in mind when you're um picking your sizes but actually for me expecting none of them to have fit like I'm, I'm gonna say I'm impressed um there's just that one like I said that was an absolute no-go for me because which is a massive shame because that was the one one of the ones that I was really excited about but you know you can't win everything um so yeah that was the dresses let me know what you think below I'm really curious would you be tempted to give them a try um did you like what you saw did you not like um let me know what you think below because I love hearing what you guys think um so yeah we will now move on to the other things that I picked up which are two bags and some jewelry so I'll start off with the bags um I will say 
I have been testing some of these items because I wanted to see um, over the last week of use how they would last um, and how they would um, not perform. It's not makeup, but you know what I mean? I wanted to check the quality rather than just showing you what they looked like. I wanted to to, 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 wanted to have tested them out. Um, and so the first thing that I've been testing out is this gorgeous elephant bag. Like... I am obsessed with elephants. They're my favorite animal of all time. So when I saw this one, I was like, yep, got to have it. And this is one that you can hear it's got my stuff in. I've been using this all week and I am really impressed with the quality. Um, it's got lots of different pockets. So you've got little sections here. I've got my hand sanitizer <laughs> in, in the um, side there. And it has a pocket on each side here for you to use. Um, the material, this is like a kind of wipe clean type material. And this is um, like a fake leather kind of material. Um, and there is a um, pocket here at the back. So you've got your, it is a backpack. So you've got these straps here. Um, but you also have this strap here. Um, which you can remove if you like. Um, inside, it's really roomy. The only thing that I don't like is the bag, uh, the bag, the way, the place where it's zipped, I can't find the words to explain what I mean, but it's like a fold open lid, kind of, if that makes any sense. Like, you can see what I'm saying. Um, so it means that if I put something in that comes up as high as the bag, like a big notebook or something, I have to kind of like, unfold this over the top to make it fit if that makes sense so that's the only thing I would change I would have had a zip over the top rather than and um, part the way through it does also have a zip um section inside but yeah I'm really impressed with this um one of the zips to close it is a lot harder to use than the other one and um, so that's annoying but the other one works like just fine you can see um but I think this bag is absolutely gorgeous like I'm going to continue using this as my um like day-to-day -day bag for now anyway like I just think it's really really nice I love the design and the elephants and like I'm genuinely really impressed with the quality of this bag I forgot to leave room so that I can show you a picture of what the bag looked like on the website but I'll include that here I think it's pretty true to um what the website said it would look like so I'm pretty happy with that so the next bag that I got is this um I'd say like bullish pink um, kind of coloured bag and it's another backpack. Um, now this one I haven't tested out um, so I can just comment on what we see here. So it again has um, side pockets there and there. It has a pocket here at the front. It has a pocket behind it again. So lots and lots of room um, for you to put stuff in. Uh, let's see what else does it have. It's got um, a pocket here at the back and then it's got, I'm not 100% sure what this is for, unless it's for when you've got a trolley case, you can like slide this on. And if that is what it is, then that's quite cool. Um, the straps are quite thick, so I feel like it'd be quite comfy on the shoulder. Um, I will say it doesn't look as, um, it doesn't look cheap, but it doesn't look as like nice as the other bag does. That looks like a bit more, um, of, of a higher quality to me it does have a little like usb kind of port um for want of a better word that i imagine is for charging your phone on the go because it comes with a wire which is quite cool so like i think that what you do is there's a little slit here and i think you put like this into here and then I imagine you plug your phone charger into that side so you can like charge your phone, but I don't know. Unless this side goes into, ah, this side must go into a portable USB charger. Um, that's that's what it is. So you can have your phone out on out and about as you go um, whilst charging it. So that's kind of cool. It's quite different. I've not seen um, that before. Inside, you've got loads of room. You've got a pocket here, um, which has got a bit of a thicker, um, uh, divider and you've got a another pocket here as well so you've got loads and loads of room um inside like look it's huge so yeah I think I wouldn't say it's the most uh, attractive looking bag that I've ever seen but I think it's quite good and quite practical um I'll leave the picture here of what it's meant to look like um but yeah I think 
I could definitely see myself using this. I just wouldn't say it's like my favorite bag ever, but um, yeah, I think overall the quality is fine. They feel like, um, like Primark kind of quality, I think. Um, is probably fair to say. Um, so just for an everyday like run around kind of bag, I'd say, yeah, it's actually quite fine. So now we'll move on to the jewellery. Um, I've never reviewed jewellery on my channel, so I think what might be best for me to do is if I bring you over to my desk behind me um, and put the jewellery on my desk so you can like actually have a look because um, showing you it like this, I don't think you're going to get the full effect. So you'll hear me talking, um, but you'll be seeing my desk in a second. <laughs> so this is the first piece of jewellery that I picked up and it's this really nice necklace. Um, you can extend it here um, so that you can like choose the length and you can change it so that um, these bits are at different heights if that makes sense. Um, it's quite hard to <laughs> show you um, but yeah you can pick the length at which you have it, if that makes sense. I have worn this um, quite a few times over the last week because I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's just really pretty and really simple. Let me show you a bit closer the details. Um, so it's got uh, this really nice, like pointy, triangly type bit with like um, jewels on and this um, uh, stick type piece here. I tend to wear it with the um, stick liney part <laughs> uh, down longer than the jeweled part. Um, I'm really happy with this. I do worry that I don't know for sure whether it's just the colour of the metal or whether it's starting to discolour a bit. Um, so I'll have to report back on that. But I do feel like it might be discolouring a little, but I'm not 100% sure. So I wouldn't want to say. Um, it does feel like something you could get like Primark, New Look, that kind of thing. Um, but I think it's really, really pretty and I'm definitely going to continue wearing this necklace because, yeah, I really like it. Um, and yeah, um, f for the first piece of jewellery, um, I was really quite impressed with this. So this is the second necklace that I picked up and it's a silver um, coloured necklace with this um a dangly attachment so it's kind of like a dream catcher I think. Um, for this one I would have preferred the chain to be longer because it kind of comes down to um, just not where I'd want it to come down um, on me. It comes to about here whereas I'd want it to come to about here. <laughs> um, it feels fine, it feels, the chain feels a bit cheaper than the last necklace, I won't lie. This definitely feels more like a Primark kind of thing. I think it would have been quite nice if there was like a, a black jewel or something there in the middle, just to make it a little bit more detailed. Um, but it's definitely fine. Um, it just doesn't feel as nice as the last necklace feels like, but I'll definitely wear it and I might even consider putting it on a longer chain, to be honest, but it's definitely nice for sure. So this is to show you the length. Um, so as I was saying, like, it's fine. But with this kind of necklace, I would have preferred it to come down to more like here. Um, but I guess it depends on the outfit that um, that you're wearing. Like, it isn't too short. It's not like <laughs> here or something. Um, so yeah, it's just fine. I would just personal preference like it to be a little bit longer, but that's just down to me, really. So moving on, we've got a necklace that I haven't opened and haven't tried. So I guess it gives me a chance to show you the packaging that it comes in. Um, so it's just got this like cardboard um, packaging at the front and it just says pa fashion jewellery. Um, and I'm sure this is the kind of thing that we see um, that would be a bit cheaper um, than... than um, it's cheap looking packaging and I'm sure I can't remember where I've seen this kind of packaging um but it's not sort of so expensive if that makes sense um but I'll just get it out of the packaging now to show you so this is what it looks like it's one of these like layering kind of necklaces um it's got lots of different details and actually it's got these ones on the side that don't loop and don't attach unless oh actually hang on are you meant to put the arrow through when it's on <laughs> That would make more sense you probably meant to put it like that um i do struggle with these kind of necklaces sometimes because i feel like they just get like tangled up on the neck um and the first chain doesn't necessarily look 
all that long um, and I've got a bit of a bigger neck so I need necklaces to be a bit longer. So what I might do is insert a clip of me wearing this one so we can really see what it looks like on. But first of all, quality wise, like there's a lot to it. Um, like this bit's got jewels on, as you can see. Um, it doesn't feel the most expensive, but it doesn't feel like crazy cheap either. Um, so again, it's your Primark new look kind of quality. Um, but yeah, we'll put it on and see how it looks. So this is the layered necklace. Um, and it is it does fit like I was worried that this chain would be like way too tight but it's actually um it's fine but it's one of those necklaces where if you like walk right if I'm walking around and whatever <laughs> that probably looked ridiculous um it gets all like out of place and um all a bit tangled um this bottom part comes to a really nice length um it like this is all fine I just don't know what this is like you could keep it open but I suspect it's meant to be um like that but then it doesn't really fit so much with the layering um yeah I'm not 100% sure about that bit um but yeah I just I never get on I think layering necklaces look so pretty but I just never get along with them because they just end up getting like a bit of a tangled mess um but it's pretty like it is really nice um so I think I would wear it. I just need to like not get it tangled if that makes sense, but it looks quite nice. Um, it would annoy me with these wings that as you like necklaces spin and stuff, don't they around your neck? So like as soon as it's out of place, like it's a bit wonky, um, but that's personal preference, but the necklace is just fine. So then we'll move on. I picked up um, two of these sets of earrings um, to, to look at. Um, one in this more like bronzy gold color and the other set which i'll show you in is more of a silvery kind of color um these are really pretty um the only ones i've tried are these um v ones but unfortunately i don't know how i can show you uh, they do have rubber backs on these ones which i'm not too happy about but with these v ones because they are both like connected on the same side when you put them in your ear um like one of the V's fits on your earlobe and then the other one doesn't. I'll I'll show when we finish talking about these, I'll insert a clip to show you what I mean, because it's quite hard to explain. Um I think these ones are absolutely gorgeous. Um yeah, they're just they do they look cheap, unfortunately. Um like these ones don't look like the jewels are gonna stay in very long um that i think they're nice for just like throw on earrings that aren't like for a special occasion um like because i lose earrings all the time so these are perfect for me um because if i had expensive earrings and i lost them i'd be devastated but these are great for me um because you get so many different pairs for a good price so it's just lots to try um so with earrings i don't mind so much because i lose them quite easily um but i just wouldn't say i'd say don't expect the best quality in the world but if you're happy with like primark kind of quality earrings then these might might be good for you um i'll insert a clip now for you to see me wearing these ones so you can see what i mean so these are earrings i said i'd show you um so you can see on this ear like it looks really nice and cute like it fits the lobe perfectly like i'm really happy with that side but then when you get to this side because the they haven't put like the bit that goes through your ear on the other side of the v it doesn't fit on my ear like I can't even get it up where it should be because it hits my my cheek like yeah I can just about get it up um but it's just not it's just not positioned right so unfortunately I wouldn't wear these so these are the silver set um, and these I have tried some of them of. The packaging leaves like so much to be desired. It's just really flimsy, cheap looking cardboard, unfortunately. But I think this set is really, really pretty. Um, the back on one of them, let me see if I can see. Um, it's quite hard to show you because it's all so delicate. Like you can see this little bit, bit of plastic, like the metal has broken off it. So um that just speaks to the quality i think um the two pairs that i've tested are um this pair Ooh. <laughs> which are absolutely gorgeous like i love these um and then the second pair are a bit smaller so it's quite fiddly 
um, are these ones, which I think these look quite expensive. They remind me of Pandora earrings. So I'm really, really enjoying these. I think that um, these silvery colored ones look more expensive than the um, bronze colored ones do. Um, so I was, I'm quite happy with these and I'll definitely get some good wear out of this set of earrings, probably more so than the bronzer ones because I'm more of a silver kind of um, fan than a um, bronzier fan. So then the last thing that I have to show you is in the pair of earrings. Again, these ones I haven't um, tried, so it's good for me to be able to show you them in the packaging. Um, but these look absolutely gorgeous online, so I was really excited to try them. So let's get them out. They're these dangly... Wait. Hmm, we'll talk about that in a second. They're these gorgeous dangly um, earrings that I think are quite individual. I think the metal um, probably looks a little bit cheap, but the thing that made me stop in my tracks just then is you can see they're meant to be jeweled, but the other jewels are missing. And in fact, there's one in the bag um, here that's come loose. Um, but the other three... Well, there's two that are missing, um, but three completely missing in total, which is really upsetting because I think these are actually really nice and I would have definitely worn these. Um, but yeah, like, let's see, is this feeling quite loose? No, it feels like quite securely in there. Um, so that's a massive shame because like, I can't even fix that because they're not all there. Um, but they... <sighs> That's really annoying because I think that these are really, really pretty. Like I love the um the black jewels. Um so yeah, that's really, really disappointing because that shouldn't happen. Like they shouldn't fall out and they shouldn't be completely missing. So that's quite unfortunate. Um so I won't be able to wear these. I don't know what to do with these now because I don't want to just throw them in the bin, but I can't wear them and I can't give them to anyone because they're broken. And so yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'll do with these now. Um, but yeah, that's a shame because these are really pretty, but obviously the quality is just, I'd have to say, shocking, unfortunately. So that's everything I had to show you today. Um, apologies that this video was probably a little bit rough around the edges. I've never tried to review jewellery and bags before. So um, if I'm going to do that, I probably need to work on my technique a little bit more. Um, but yeah, overall mixed bag of quality um i'd say like i've said over and over again it's kind of primark type quality um i was impressed with the dresses um if i was gonna shop from them again i would look at a size 4xl um and see if there were some of those items that were um not available in a 5xl um because obviously um some of the dresses were a bit too big um but then again some were the right size and one was a little bit tight so <laughs> that's the problem with these kind of sites is that you don't know what you're getting size wise unfortunately um but yeah let me know what you think below are you interested in trying out the brand um i have had a couple more of these kind of websites contact me and ask me um if i want to be sent some things i haven't accepted yet because i wanted to do this video first because i wanted to find out if it's something you guys are interested in watching because i don't want to make content that you're not interested in um because that would make no sense and it's not about me just receiving free clothes so i haven't said yes to any of them yet um i'm gonna try and put a little poll up here um but also you can let me know in the comments below do you want to see more of these kind of videos testing these kind of brands because if you do i can order some more um and, and and get those and we can test them out um but if you don't that's absolutely fine um i don't mind um let me know what below i'd rather do what you want to see um and if this isn't what you want to see not a problem just let me know um but yeah it would be really helpful if you can give me some feedback below so i know whether to accept the clothes or not and whether to make more of these kind of videos or not but yeah this video is probably quite long so i'm going to stop rambling <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much for watching really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up um that would mean the world and if you could subscribe if you're not already that would mean so so much to me like it warms my heart so much every time i look and see that more people have subscribed because i love doing this and i love that people want to see it so yeah um if you could subscribe that would mean the world but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye